This is an updated guide on how to install SoundVoltex Exceed Gear PC version. My previous video I felt like went on for way too long, so we're just redoing it real quick. This video is talking about the official SoundVoltex PC version. It's not talking about anything else. This video will also be divided into three parts, where the first part is going to be talking about general setup. The next part will be talking about how many songs do you actually have available by default, or how do you actually get more songs. And the third part is Pacelli information, basic course song pack info. Now, in order to install this game, you have to have an eAmusement account. You gotta log in first on the website and log into your account. This is extremely easy to make one. I'm not gonna actually show this in the video because I'm just under the assumption most people already have one, but there are plenty of guides out there in the wild. Once you are logged in, you will be brought to two new buttons in the top right corner of Play Games and Install. You're gonna click the Install button. You will be brought to this page. If you don't read Japanese, that's completely okay. All that a lot of this is saying is that you need to be subscribed to the basic course and you also should not, like, just do prohibited acts with the software or whatever. All you gotta do is click this button and you'll just be given the installation software. You go through the installer like a typical installation and then you'll be brought to the launcher and that is when you're going to immediately press this button or it will automatically prompt you to update your game to the latest version. This might take a while, just be patient with it. But then after that, it's pretty much it. You can go to the settings here and change a couple things if you want, change your frame rate from 120 hertz to 60 hertz for some reason you can flip the monitor to whatever you want your audio settings your controller bindings just straight up simple stuff they give you a lot of options it's that easy to install the game it's really not a problem so one of the most common questions that i had in my previous guide is what songs do I have available unlocked by default? What type of money do I have to pay to play this game? Because understandably, one trying to get into this game will look at the song pack prices and go, wow, this is pretty expensive. And admittedly, the song packs are expensive. Most people just wait for the 50% off sales that they put on sometimes. However, there is a website that exists that does show the amount of songs available inside of Soundbolt Exceed Gear PC. And this is stuff that is inside of the basic course. The basic course is what you have to subscribe to every single month in order to have access to the game and your songs. And this is what is available by default. I'm showing some of the 19s available right here. We have stuff like Freedom Dive, Bang and Burst, Black or White, Black Emperor, Bad Elixir. Uh, just a lot of very iconic songs inside of Sambol Tex, a ton of level 18s. There is also 100 songs inside of Blaster Gate to unlock, to my knowledge. So that is what is available without paying any money whatsoever for packs. I think it's a fair amount, but that's just me. It's around 700 songs that you have just by being in the basic subscription. There is also the Undertale songs that have been added for free. You do not have to pay any money for those, as well as some of the recent Exit Tune licenses that they have been adding to the game. So they have stuff that they are constantly adding to sample text for free that you don't have to pay any money for at all. I'm going to leave this website linked down below in the description because it is actually a very good resource to show what songs are available in packs or what songs are in the basic course. If you want to look through this yourself and see what songs are here it's in the description but to finalize this part of the video if the song is available just under basic course that means you do not have to pay any money for that and they are unlocked by default Like I stated earlier in this video, in order to have access to all of the songs I just mentioned or the packs that you purchased, you have to be inside of the Soundvoltex Basic Course. The Soundvoltex Basic Course is a monthly subscription service that allows you to have access to the game. It currently costs around the equivalent of $10 United States in yen. For this part, you will have to get Paselli, which is Konami's way of processing payments. You will have to go to the Charge website and select any amount of Paselli that you will need. So I would personally put around 2,000 in there for a monthly subscription. And then you will just have to put in your card info, pay through that, and then you will have Paselli inside of your account. Um, this is all in Japanese, but it's very straightforward to go through. It does take overseas credit cards and debit cards, so there should not be a problem with processing payment if you're overseas. After that, once you have the Pacelli inside of your account, you will simply go back to the basic course page right here, and it will allow you to have a button to start your subscription, which then that is what it will show right here when it is complete. If you would like to purchase packs, you do the same thing. Go to the Pacelli website, charge as much Pacelli as you will need for a pack, and then go to the packs website to purchase them. One of the points that I've seen people make is that this is still expensive regardless if you have packs or not which is fair ten dollars a month can be kind of pricey for some people however my personal opinion with the baseline content that you get of around 700 songs plus just constant updates of free songs that you get 
I don't think it's a bad deal, and I think honestly it's a lot cheaper than what you would be spending playing at an actual arcade. I will not deny though or try to hide the fact that these packs here on the store are very expensive purchases. Most people, and my personal advice that I can give you here, if you're seriously wanting these packs, wait for them to go on sale. There are times where Konami does put these packs on sale for 50% off. They're for short time frames though, so you really gotta be keeping your eye out for this. Every day you are not going to be able to launch the game from 4pm to 6pm EST, you could translate that to your own time. The only reason that this is a thing is because there is maintenance that happens every day. One of the things that I mentioned in my previous guide was outdated and was one of the reasons I felt the need to redo this because from the onwards of October 19th, you no longer have to subscribe to the course at the beginning of the month. How this used to work is that if you subscribe to the course, let's say on the 31st, it would expire the, ne the very next day because it would just reset always on the first of the month. No longer do you have to do this, so if you subscribe on like the 15th of the month, you'll be able to use it until the 14th of the month. It will no longer just reset at the first of the month every single time. And finally, everything inside of the PC version of Sound Voltex is pretty much exactly the same as playing a Valkyrie cabinet. Meaning you have access to play this at 120Hz if you please, you can enable S-Critical if you would like to, there are also Valkyrie exclusive features that exist on this version, so I would say it's definitely quite good. With that being said, that should wrap up this guide. I hope that this helped somebody and was a lot more constructive than my previous guide I made a year ago. Let me know in the comments section if you have any questions or concerns, and thank you all for watching this video.